Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Run Moore, this brick and mortar running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Today, we wanted to take a few minutes and talk about Hoka vs. Brooks. It's been really cool in the running industry to see brands kind of shuffle around as who's the top dog and who's moving up in the rankings. And by far the last couple years, the biggest growth that any brand has seen has been Hoka. When I first opened my shop back in 2014, when I would pull Hoka out for people, I mean, it was bringing people like, get that shoe away, it's ugly, I've never heard of it. Like I had to really fight for people to try this shoe on, specifically like younger people, you know, just cause it looked so big and different from anything that was on people's feet. It was really hard sometimes to get people to try it on. But now the two biggest brands in all of run specialty are Brooks and Hoka. And I would say very frequently people come in and they say, you know, I'm running in a Brooks so-and-so and I want to try the Hoka so-and-so. Which is the shoe that kind of goes with the other one? And we see it from both directions, right? We have people that come in and say, I've, the last year or two I've been running in the Hoka X and now I want to try a Brooks shoe because my friend says they're really great. So we're going to try today to give you a couple ideas of if you run in this, what the corresponding version is on the other brand, just to kind of help you make those swaps. So I wanted to start off with what the most popular shoe out there right now is it's the Hoka Clifton 9. This is an everyday neutral trainer shoe. This is a nice everyday, you can do a little bit of everything in, and it corresponds very nicely with the Brooks Ghost. These two are both their everyday workhorse trainers, runners, walk, gym, all that kind of stuff in these two models. They're both priced about the same between $140 to $145. They're neutral, meaning they don't have any extra support around the arch. So if you're somebody that needs any help from pronation issues, these aren't the models, but more often than not, when people come in the door and they've just found a shoe, they're coming in and typically a Clifton or a Ghost. So if you're in one, you very well might like the other. Moving into the stability category, both the Arahi and the Adrenaline are very similar to their counterparts, the Ghost, that, the Ghost and the Clifton. The difference being the additional stability. So if you're somebody who has some pronation issues one way or the other, maybe you're dealing with a little plantar fasciitis, maybe you have really flat feet or really high arches and you find yourself either supinating or overpronating, or just want something that feels a little more stable underfoot, these are your companion shoes. The Brooks Adrenaline, and actually, of all of the shoes I carry right now, the Adrenaline actually is our number one seller. I think because some people, even though people that might not be flat-footed or super high arch or even have stability issues, they just like that firm feeling under their foot. This shoe and the Arahi both have like a little bit of a horseshoe that wraps around your heel just to kind of prevent any type of motion. So if you're somebody who feels like you just feel off balance sometimes, or if you look on the wear pattern of a pair of shoes and you see you're wearing more on the outside or the inside, these would be the two that I would definitely want to check out. The Hoka Arahi and the Brooks Adrenaline 22. Moving on to the heavyweights. And I say heavyweights because they're the heaviest of the group. They're also the most cushioned models from each of the corresponding brands. We have the Brooks Glycerin and the Hoka Bondi 8. Yes, I know I called it Bondi. Yes, I know it's supposed to be Bondi, but I live and die with calling it the Bondi. You can tell that these guys are both have taller stack heights. They're more cushioned, they're more plush. Just like we talked about with the Clifton and the, and the Ghost, these shoes offer no support. And I say that because I think most people come in looking for a Bondi in mind. It's a shoe that, you know, you see it, it looks so comfortable, but it's not very stable. Even though this new model sort of flares out, if you kind of look how the shoe goes this way on the ground, it does provide a little more support than previous iterations of this, but really it's not a very stable shoe. So especially it being such a tall stack height shoe, if you find yourself being somebody who turns your ankles a lot or somebody who really needs some guidance, some support to it, this might not be the model for you, but if you're looking for just a high plush cushion, walking, standing, long mileage running shoe, boy, is this a great shoe. And same with the Glycerin. This is a new nitrogen infused midsole. It's got a really tall stack height to it. It's bouncier than the other Brooks shoes we talked about. It has a more wide and forgiving fit to it. It's much more accommodating to somebody who needs to add an insert to it. It's a very good high impact, 
long mile shoe. And I would say of all of the, the new model shoes that have come out in the last year, as far as like drastic changes, the Glycerin has really led the way. People that had like been lukewarm on previous versions, but tried the new one have been very happy with it. And people that have come in with a Bondi that wanted to try something else, even though they look quite different, even though you could say, how could this be every bit as much comfortable as this shoe? You'd be shocked at how much cushion and, and comfort comes in the new Brooks Glycerin. I hope that helped. It was just a quick little rundown to make, help you make the right decision between each model because it can be confusing, especially if you look at some of the brands on the wall, a lot of them look so similar. But it's really important to make sure that you're lining up the right shoe with your foot profile, the activities that you're doing, how much support and guidance you may need in that shoe. And really, if you're looking to try something out there, these are great brands with great reputation and they're really leading the way right now as far as what our industry is doing and the direction that we're going. If you have any questions on any of the Hoka and Brooks brands out there, and you have any questions on how they may fit side by side, feel free to reach out. You can always leave a question down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these fine products, go ahead, head on over to our website. We have a link down below. Enter promo code RUNMORE, just R-U-N-M-O-O-R-E without the space, and you'll save 10% and we'll ship it out for free. I hope this helped you make an informed, educated decision on the proper footwear for you. And if it was helpful, do me a favor, like and subscribe to our channel. It certainly helps us find more people like you out there in the interwebs. Have a great day. And if you find yourself in the greater Westminster area, stop by our shop. We'd love to see you and uh, happy run and happy walking, happy everything. Thanks.